Hi everyone and welcome to another Vector Twist tutorial. In this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set up an isometric city with just a few simple shapes. As you can see on the artboard, we have different city buildings. And I would like to show you how you can set them up with just a few flat shapes. Use the Illustrator 3D tools and then turn them into an isometric city. Before we start with this tutorial, please remember to subscribe to the channel and to hit the notification bell as well so you will be notified when the next tutorial is live. And with that said, let's get started. The first step is to create rectangles. So simply select the rectangle tool. And as you can see on the artboard, I've already created some shapes that we're going to turn into city buildings. But just to demonstrate how I created them, it's fairly simple. So use the rectangle tool, choose any fill color. I choose a light gray, and then simply drag the shape onto the artboard. It pretty much depends on the size of the buildings you would like to have. They can be thin and tall or wide and thick. So keep continuing drawing these buildings or shapes on your artboard until you have the city look that you like. If you would combine several, simply use the Pathfinder tool. I'm going to show you quickly. So create a shape, create another shape. You can select them and use the Align tool to align them. And then simply open up the Pathfinder panel and use Unite. It's really pretty simple. So I'm going to delete this and then choose the ones I've already created. Now, in order to apply the 3D tools to the shapes, select all of your shapes and then on the object, choose group. Keep them selected, then go to effect, 3D and choose extrude and bevel. Now in the pop-up for the position, choose isometric right, check the preview. And as you can see, we have now the buildings or the shapes in our isometric view. And then you can increase the extrude depth. So I'm going to set it to 200, update the preview button, and then you can see how thick or how thin your city buildings are going to be. Once you're happy with this, simply press OK. We still have live shapes. That means you can alter them, since the 3D effect tool is a live effect. If you see little jaggedy lines, simply switch on the view preview on CPU. And then you get a much smoother look. When you select it, you can see the shapes in front view where we applied the 3D tools. Now you could simply create a copy to the front and then you can switch your shapes by going to Object, Transform and then Reflect. Now we're going to reflect it vertically, press the Preview and then simply press OK. I'm going to deselect and as you can see we've created another row of isometric city buildings. Then we could create another copy right in front, do the same thing, go back to Object, Transform Choose Reflect again, press OK, and then with the Direct Selection tool, we can alter the shapes. Simply select the top two anchor points, press the Shift key to select both, and then keep the Shift key pressed and drag it to the top. As you can see on the artboard, my building has changed. You can do this with any of the other shapes as well. You can simply alter them. For example, I can make this much taller just keep sure when you select the anchor points to keep the shift key pressed when you move them, so they move in unison. And after that, you can create many more rows of your isometric city buildings. Now, of course, we would like to add some color. Again, we have not expanded our appearance, so simply select your shapes. And then with the eyedropper tool, pick any color of your liking. Since we are working with the 3D tool, our shades get applied automatically. Now we can do this with the other rows as well. So simply select the colors of your liking and apply it to the rows. This way you can start building up a city. And it's fairly easy. It's not very complicated and won't take much time. And this is really the concept how you can build up your city look. Now in order to add some windows, that is fairly easy as well. We just have to create the windows themselves and then turn them into symbols and then we can use the 3D tools again. So let me simply show you. So select the shape, open up the appearance panel and double click on your 3D and bevel tool. In the pop-up, reselect preview and then click on map art. Here in the map art, we want to add a symbol. Now first we have to create the symbols and then they will show up in the dropdown. But this is the step so you can start right away if you already have symbols that you want to apply to your isometric buildings. So I'm going to cancel and I'm going to first create the windows. Now for this example, I'm going to pick a light orange 
and then simply work with the rectangle tool again. I'm going to create small squares. Let me zoom in. Then I'm going to drag it to the right by pressing the Option Alt key and the Shift key at the same time. And then I let go. I don't deselect. And then press Ctrl or Command and D on the keyboard to repeat the step. Same I'm going to do with the top row and then repeat the duplicate step. After that I'm simply going to create a group and then open up the symbols panel and drag them into it. I'm going to call it window 1. Export type I'm just simply choosing graphic. I keep it a dynamic symbol so I can edit it later on and then press OK. Now if I zoom out I want to apply this symbol to my 3D isometric building and I would like to apply it to all of them. The next step is a little bit tedious, but let me show you how it works. I'm going to reselect 3D isometric building. Open up the appearance panel, double click the 3D extrude and bevel, and then check the preview, open up map art, and from the simple drop down, I'm going to choose the one we've just created called window 1. I'm going to select scale to fit, and then I'm going to click next up on the surface. As you can see, we have 65 services. We applied it to the first. Now if I cycle through the other surfaces, you can see they are getting highlighted with a red outline on my artboard. Just keep clicking until you see the front again. Now I have to cycle through my window, and if all of a sudden you do not see an outline again, just move your window. It is most likely in the back. As you can see, I've highlighted another surface of another building. Just keep clicking until you have the front again. Then again, under Symbol, choose Windows 1. Scale to fit. And then you can simply press OK. As you can see, this is my finished city setup. I have multiple windows. I have not expanded anything. Just to simply show you, I'm selecting my first front row. I open up the Appearance panel. And then I'll double click. Let me move it out of the way. We're going to map art. Click the preview. And then you can see that I have different kind of windows applied. Again, often I just have to cycle through until I get the other window treatment. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to open up the symbols panel. As you can see here, I have several window treatments. Once you create one, you can easily create a copy. For example, I duplicated my first window by simply grabbing it and then dragging it onto the, the new symbol sign. It will create a new copy of it and then I double click it and I can easily change the colors. So for example, I can change this into a dark purple and then double click and as you can see, it has been updated in my symbols panel. Now I can apply this window if I wanted to to my city buildings via the 3D tools under map art. I can also update the currently applied window treatments. So if I double click my first, I'm going to select it and say I do not want to have this color anymore. I want to have the dark purple. I apply the color, I double click to exit. And as you can see on the artboard, everything that has this window applied as a symbol via the 3D tools under map art has been updated. Now just let me undo this. And this is how you can create your windows for your isometric city setup. So just to recap, we've created a row of rectangles where we applied the 3D tools under 3D extrude and bevel. We then created symbols, basically the window look. We've used the map art to map those symbols to the front surfaces of our buildings. And that's pretty much it. Now I hope this tutorial helped you to set up your isometric city with just a few simple shapes. And the fun part of this is that it's all still life. You can change the color at any time, you can change the window look, you can change the window color, you can duplicate your symbols, you can alter them. Just to quickly show you, if I wanted to add lit up windows on my second row here, I simply open up my symbols panel. I'm going to find the window for, let's say, this building here in the front. I'm going to double click it. With the direct selection tool, I'm going to select several of the small windows and add a light yellow to them. Now I simply double click on it to exit. And as you can see, on my 3D setup, the windows have been updated. Everywhere I use the same symbol, now the buildings have been updated with one simple click. And that is really fun when you're not sure yet what color you want 
or you would like to add just simply more details to your isometric designs. So I hope you had fun with this small quick tip on how to create your isometric city. So go ahead and subscribe. Like it, share it, comment. And also click the notification bell so you'll be notified for the next Vector Twist tutorial. I'll see you then.